cold for us, cold for the instrument, cold for everybody. So, but we are good. I'm uh, Marco Zanatta from uh, Alfred Wegener uh, Institute and I'm an uh, atmospheric scientist. We are looking for some uh, particles, uh, some aerosol, which is called uh, black carbon. Uh, is emitted by uh, combustion of uh, forest fires, for example, but also human activity. When you drive your car, you emit uh, black carbon particles. So at the moment we are making a, a snow pit. We are, we are looking uh, to black carbon, especially in the Arctic, because we think uh, that they can contribute to the warming and uh, the Arctic uh, uh, is kind of really the thermometer of our planet. It has been warming faster than the rest of, uh, of the world and uh, we think that black carbon is, can contribute in, uh, in part to this warming both in the atmosphere and uh, in the snow. Melted and frozen snow in big crystal, almost all hexagonal, really beautiful. <laughs> so if you look at, at the snow, it looks really, really white. And uh, we get often the, the question like if uh, there is really enough black carbon inside. The problem is that you really need a, a really tiny amount of it. So we will never be able to see it by, by naked eye. Uh, but we need uh, the, the specific instruments and uh, since the, the snow is really really white it's just sufficient it's tiny amount of uh, this black powder to, to change the optical properties. We definitely see some black carbon in, uh, in the atmosphere, but uh, for the snow, we, uh, we must collect the snow and then we bring them home and then we do the analysis. So we will really know the final results in a couple of months. Really, really frozen. <laughs> 